Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Beg Brace, my name is Amir and back to you with yet another podcast. In today's podcast, we're going to deep dive into the world of programming careers. We're going to talk money. So I'm going to be comparing the salaries of two of the heavyweights in the coding ring, C language and Golang. And if you're wondering which language might fatten up the paycheck of yours, stay tuned because I've got some spicy insights for you. So let's get into it. First off, let's talk about the big number everyone's is interested in, the annual salary. Now for Golang developers, you're looking at an average of around 151K a year. And if you're just starting out, you're probably making around 70K. But if you're really a Go guru, you could be pulling in up to 250K. And that's some serious cash. Now for the C programmers out there, the average sits around 95k. Fresh out of school or jumping into your first gig, you'll be starting at about 55 to 56,000. And with a bit more experience, you can hit that 170k mark, but it's not quite reaching the heights of Go. Now all of what I've told you is not my opinion, it's just facts. Golang clearly has that edge especially for those senior level roles. Why? Well, it's booming in industries like cloud computing and backend development. C, on the other hand, is more of a staple in embedded systems and hardware. Still crucial, but not quite as trendy. All right, let's break this down to the hourly rate, because not everyone's on a yearly salary, right? So back to Golang Dev again you're making anywhere from $36 to $130 per hour, with an average of about $79. Not too shabby. For C programmers, you're looking at $25 to $100 per hour, with an average around $60. Again, these are facts, but my opinion is goes leading here. It's that modern demand kicking in. More companies want go devs for cloud-native apps and backend services, so they're willing to pay up. Now, what's the market looking like? Are you gonna be swimming in job offers? Or is it a bit more cutthroat? For Golang, there are about 50 new jobs popping up monthly. But here's the catch. You'll be competing with 71 other applicants on average. It's hot, it's competitive, but it's worth it if you can stand out. As for C jobs, they are a bit more chill around 40 to 45 new positions each month with about 50 applicants per job. My opinion on that is that both languages have solid job markets, but Go is definitely more in demand, meaning more competition. C might not be as flashy, but if you've got the skills, there's still a good spot waiting for you. Now let's talk a little bit about that remote life that we've embraced after 2020. And who doesn't love working from the couch, right? No, seriously. For Golang jobs, about 50 to 60% of them are remote friendly. And that's a good chunk, let me tell you. As for C programming roles, you're looking at around 30 to 40% that of remote work. A bit more old school, that fits C very well, a language that was created in the 70s. And in my opinion, Go takes the win here again, with more opportunities to work from anywhere. Okay, let's break it down by experience level, because we've all got to start somewhere, right? You've got three levels, junior, mid-level, and senior. Now, if you will take to the Golang salary range column, you'll find that for junior, you will receive from 27 to 80K, the mid-level from 75 to 150, and senior from 100 to 250. As for the C programming salary range, you're looking between 40 and 70K, for the mid-level from 70 to 120, and for the seniors from 100 to 170K. Golang really shines as you climb that ladder. C programmers, you've got steady growth, but Go's just got more room to stretch out your earning potential. So where are these jobs popping up? Golang is huge in fintech, cloud services, DevOps, and backend APIs. Where C, on the other hand, is still the king of embedded systems, automotive, robotics, operating systems, and some serious game engine work. So my final thoughts are, if you're into system level stuff, C is your bread and butter. If you want a higher paycheck and want to ride the wave of modern tech, 
Golang is where it's at in 2024. So there you have it folks, the battle of the programming salaries. Which one are you leaning towards? Let me know in the comments section please. And don't forget to smash that like button, it helps the YouTube algorithms to work favorably towards the channel. Thank you so much guys for listening, until next time, this is Beckbrace signing off, peace out.